Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we have breaking news. Republican Congressman George Santos has been arrested and is in custody. The Department of Justice has him in custody. He is facing, wow, 20 years in prison. Folks, before we get started, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things you do, they really help our channel out. So, we have the details on this. He is facing multiple counts of money laundering. He is facing multiple counts of theft, multiple counts of wire fraud, multiple counts of lying to the House of Representatives. The Department of Justice issued a press release with all the details, but I have one burning question. One burning question that I think the Justice Department has to answer after this, and it's coming at you right after this explanation from CNN. Hey, welcome back. We do have breaking news. The Justice Department has just unsealed the federal charges against New York member of Congress, George Santos. The Republican member, we are told, is currently in custody. Seen as Bryn Gingras is live outside the courthouse on Long Island. Bryn, what are you hearing? Yeah, we're just hearing, John, that George Santos is in custody and this indictment has been unsealed. I want to give you some quick details as we're going through the paperwork. He is charged on a 13 count indictment. According to those court documents, the charges include seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. Again, we're just getting this indictment. It has just been unsealed. We're hearing that Santos is inside the federal court, not, courthouse here behind me, and he has been arrested on these charges. And of course, we're learning that he will see a judge later today, very likely on these charges. But we are still going through that paperwork to get the details of these counts. Again, though, 13 count indictment just unsealed including wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public fun funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. Just look that up. Just All right, Bryn Gingras for us outside the courthouse. Bryn, thank you very much. We'll let you dig through this indictment more as more details become public. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Okay, so I'm not here to defend George Santos. I don't know the details of the case. I'm not here to defend him. If he committed crimes then he'll pay for those crimes. That's how the justice system is supposed to work. My question is very simple. Okay, where are the Bidens? You were able to formulate a 13-count indictment with a possible penalty of 20 years in prison against a Republican representative with lightning speed. And yet there is video evidence of some of Hunter Biden's crimes and nothing. What's going on there? I think that's the question we should be asking today. Do we have one system of justice or two systems of justice? Folks, again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.